Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today we're going to be reacting to Bo Burnham Country Song. Now this has been requested so many times for me to react to. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be like. This is part from his Netflix is a joke kind of series he had. What well, There was another one that was from Netflix is a joke. I think it was Lower Your Expectations, I think. Don't hold me to that. I wonder if this is actually going to be like country music. It does say Bo Burnham's Country Song. I love country music as well. Okay, let's see. Any big fans of country music out there? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, some people extending my name. Boo, that's also approval. I, I think... I is think it though? Country music gets a bad rep. You know, why is it that when Bruce Springsteen sings about a fucking turnpike, it is art, and then when someone sings about a horse, it's dumb inherently? I, don't think, I think some of the greatest songwriters of all time are country artists, Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, you know? And if you're writing honestly, that is art, and I would never bash that. Um, the problem is... With a lot of modern country music, what, what is called stadium country music, the sort of Keith Urban brand of country music, is that it is not honest. It is the exact opposite of honest. Where instead of people actually telling their stories, you've got a bunch of millionaire metrosexuals who've never done a hard day's work in their lives, but they figured out the words and the phrases they can the use to in front of their audience and they list the same words and phrases off sort of mad lib style in every song raking in millions of dollars from actual working class people you know the words you know the phrases phrases like a dirt road a cold beer a blue jeans a red pickup a rural noun simple adjective no shoes, no shirt, no shoes, you didn't hear that. <laughs> sort of a mental typo. <laughs> I have a few of them. <laughs> talk like a field hand, but the boots I'm wearing cost three grand. I write songs about riding tractors from the comfort of a private jet. I could sing in Mandarin, you'd still know I'm pandering. Deer chasing trout, a Bud Light with the logo facing out. Hear that subtle mandolin? That's textbook pandering. I own a private ranch that I rarely use. I don't like dirt. One verse, one chorus in the bag. Now it's time to talk to the ladies. I'm hoping my southern charm offsets all these rapey vibes I'm putting out. Good girl in a straw hat with her arms out in a cornfield. That is a scarecrow. <laughs> that was a human woman, sorry. A cold night, a cold beer, a cold jean. Strike that last one. I'm wetting you. I hope you're failing me. Subtextually, we go to bed, you doze off. So I take your country girl clothes off. I put my hands on your body. It feels like hey, it's a fucking scarecrow again. My mind's a mandarin. <laughs> Fuck your ears, I'm pandering. <laughs> I write songs for the people who do jobs in the towns that I'd never move to. Legalize gerrymandering. Tolerate my pandering. You got a beautiful mouth, I got a beautiful. Y'all dumb motherfuckers want a key change. Thematically meandering, emphatically pandering. I got a tight grip on my demos balls. Say the word truck, they jizz in their overall. You don't know what land you're in. I'm in the land of pandering. And I'll be up front. I do what I do, cause I'm a total fucking country ball. I was waiting for that. <laughs> okay, I think that has just become my new favourite Bo Burnham song, guys. That was so funny. I loved that. I loved everything about that. The little jokes, the whole accent thing, the whole vibe of it. Oh my god, it was just so, so, so good. Like I said, new favourite Bo Burnham song. That, oh my god, that's really, really impressed me. He's just so funny. I just, I love Bo Burnham so much. The fact that he can turn his comedy into a song, I just, I think it's so good. And even though his songs are so funny, and obviously some of them are really meaningful, 
I just, I love how he can turn them actually into music and make them songs that you could actually listen to. He can actually sing, like he's got a good voice. It's just, it's so good and he presses me every single time. It's so funny with the whole scarecrow thing. I would love to go see him perform. You would just be laughing your head off the whole time. I think he'd just be such a great person to watch perform. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. Let me know down below if there's anyone else that you want me to react to or any new songs or anything. Don't forget to go follow me on all my social medias. It's just Ava Jane Kelly and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!